Hey guys, welcome to That's Not Garbage. Um, today I'm looking at a backpack leaf blower. It's an Echo PB265L. Um, one I can gather, pretty common model. I've seen it um, a lot on the internet. Uh, I found this guy on the side of the road out for garbage. And she looks like new. I mean, everything is just really great shape. The carb looks good, everything looks good. So took it apart and found out the piston was all scored and the cylinder was all scored and you know rather than try to replace the piston or the cylinder or the ring or decide what to replace um, for like uh, seventy dollars ish give or take it really depends on what's up at the time anywhere between like seventy and a hundred dollars less if you're lucky and, and it's used but for closer to $100, you can get a brand new short block. It's got the crankcase and the cylinder and the piston. Now, as a bonus, not only does it come with the gaskets, a complete full set of gaskets for the motor and the carb, the short block's installed. It's together, the cylinder the crankcase, the piston, the gasket between, it's already done. So all we have to do is install this and the carb and the gaskets and then put it all back together. <clears throat> now that's a big enough pain in the ass as it is. So why go through all the trouble of figuring out exactly what's wrong, then trying to put this down thing together. Um, just get a new short block for under $100, a $350 plus dollar um, backpack uh, leaf blower is you know ready to roll so sure beats throwing it away okay i'm going to install it maybe i will take you with me here and there throughout I'm not exactly a super experienced pro at this i've never actually taken apart and assembled a backpack leaf blower so this will be the first one um going back together getting it apart is easy putting it back together is different so i'll let you know how this works and I'll be back. Guy slides right on here. Only fits one way. So you line it up, and then we bolt through the other side. The first thing you're going to do is put your ignition coil on. This is a T15 ratchet attachment. Gives me the most options and flexibility as far as how I want to use this particular tool. You never know exactly what a GoPro is getting, do you? Put a tiny drop of thread lock on this guy. Okay, I'm not going too tight. This is facing up, okay. Magnet faces down. Again, one, two, three, four. And look at that. Just like that. Motor is attached. How exciting. Before you put the carb on, <coughs> this plate has to go on, okay? This 
gasket goes under the plate. Okay. That's a T25. It's the biggest one you're going to use for this guy. Tighten e evenly <coughs> in small intervals. Don't over tighten. There you go. That's the gasket. Carb mount plate. This little plate's a pain in the ass to get right. Um, the key is making sure that it's underneath the slip all the way. I don't know if you can see. Underneath all the way. T25. Okay. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Carb cover goes back on. Ah. Now this thing's starting to look like something. Tightening the pulley wheel, flywheel. Team. And I'll put this back on. T25. This T25 torque ball is brought to you by Jason Voorhees. Alright, the new gasket shieldy thing is on. Pro tip, don't assume the way it was installed when you took it apart was correct. Quite often it is not correct, which mine was not correct. School bus. I make fixing shit fun. Goddamn boring as it gets. Okay. Here's your muffler. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the case on. And then it'll actually look like something. Twenty-five. That's a school bus. Look at that. It's dramatic. It's a dramatic shot. Don't lean on that. What is this? It's a gasket. Oh. If you ruin it, then this whole thing's worth nothing. Oh. You'll notice that it's supposed to be installed, as is the muffler, which is sitting over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this case off. 
and then copy and paste this piece of video later. But Say that and it works. Go away, Egon. Oh god! No! 